In this video I will show you how you can easily export and import Hypermill and Hypercad S configurations with the Hypermill settings wizard. It is important here that all versions prior to version 2020.2 are not compatible with subsequent versions. We can find the settings wizard via start or in the installation folder on your hard drive. We now run it as an administrator. We have the choice of exporting or importing configurations. First of all, we want to export our settings and configurations so that we can use them on other PCs later on. Certain requirements must be met for export. Before exporting, it is important that we save our configurations in Hypercad S. For this, we start Hypercad S and open a new file. Now we go via File, Options to the Layout Manager and save our current settings here as a configuration. Hypercad S must now be closed again because no OpenMind application may be running during export. We also have to be logged in with the same Windows user with whom we use Hypermail. Now the location of the OM settings file can be determined. This OM settings file stores all settings and configurations. It can be saved locally or on a server that the other PCs can access. In this window, we can see which settings and objects are stored in the OM settings file. For example, tool and macro database, as well as post processors and machine models. We confirm by clicking next and the export starts. As soon as the export is finished, we can close the settings wizard. The export process is now complete. To import the configurations on other PCs, we now run the settings wizard as an administrator on the desired PCs. We choose import and confirm by clicking next. As with exporting, certain requirements must also be met when importing. We can tick all these boxes and click on Next. Now we select the exported OM settings file which we have generated. We confirm and now we can see which settings and objects are being imported. By clicking Next, the import process starts. Objects that already exist on this PC will be skipped automatically. To complete the import process, we now open Hypercard S and use the Layout Manager to restore the configuration settings. All Hypermill and Hypercard S configurations are now up to date. 